I'm going to show you how to install an SSL certificate. Now, this is a relatively technical um, uh, thing to do. So if you're not familiar with cPanel or WHM, this might not be the right thing for you. You might want to just contact your web host and have uh, your web hosting provider uh, do the installation for you. But if you're fairly technical and you want to uh, uh, go about um, installing yourself and learn how, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through and guide you through it. So a couple of things that we'll need, uh, we'll need the actual SSL certificate. Uh, and I'll show you a couple of places to uh, where you can purchase it. Um, and you also need WHM, um, which is uh, the web host manager for cPanel. And also you need, need a dedicated IP installed unless your server has um, uh, server name indication or SNI. Uh, but for most part, mo the majority of servers, you do need a dedicated IP installed. So you need that ahead of time. Uh, so what I have right now is the uh, so the certificate that I purchased is the Komodo one. I recommend the Komodo SSL certificate just because it's it's sixty five dollars per year. It's it's not bad. I mean, uh, Komodo is one of the uh, more reputable companies for uh, for this. Uh, and the other one is GeoTrust. I mean, the, they're kind of pricey, range from one forty nine as their uh, cheapest one uh, and up. And they also have a cheap version of this called Rapid SSL. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than uh, Komodo, but the fact that it's called Rapid SSL, I mean, this is basically like, hey, we've made this to represent like cheap. So, so overall, I recommend Komodo just because you don't really have the same, um, uh, you know, reputation as Rapid SSL. Although they all work fine, um, and if. if you know, uh, for some of my own sites, I actually use Rapid SSL just because it is a little bit cheaper. Um, so, after you purchase the certificate, basically, uh, you're going to have a, a um, get a window kind of similar to this where you enter in this thing called your uh, CSR. Um, now, how do we get the CSR? Uh, we basically will go here uh, to the web hosting control panel, and or I'm sorry. Uh, the web host manager or WHM. Once you log in, you want to scroll down and then uh, go to generate an SL certificate and signing request. Now, I don't want to lose this, so I'm just going to show you how it would otherwise look like. Um, I skipped uh, one of the steps, so just you don't want to apologize for that. So basically, uh, after you fill this out, um, and I recommend probably the uh, this one just because some of them actually require it to be um, to be four thousand bits. Uh, after you fill out this, all this information, um, you would click on create, and then the result page is you'll get a page that looks like this. Um, so. Just to avoid some confusion, because I know I have a lot of tabs open, uh, I'm in the process of installing uh, an SSL certificate on two domain names. So that's why if I toggle back and forth and domain names are different, that's why. So after you fill out the um, the, the page when you click on generate SSL certificate and signing request, this is basically what you get. So you, what you want to do is copy uh, this into, after you purchase your certificate, uh, you have a box uh, where you can enter in similar to this. Um, and then after you paste that in, it's going to ask you for an approval email address. And then you can uh, basically, it gives you option of admin at or root at or administrator at. It gives you a couple options. Um, and then uh, you would uh, hit submit. Um, and sometimes they'll ask you for a little more information like the address and, and all that good stuff. Uh, and then after that, um, here is what we get. Bam. So first we are going to, um, now depending on provider to provider, the emails may look a little bit different. So for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna, you know, I purchased it through Komodo. So this is how it looks like. Um, they're gonna have a, uh, the first email is gonna be one where you would just click a link to verify, which I already did that. Um, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, and then, we basically are at the point where 
they have sent us the seal. So as far as the, the steps that I've already taken, I've purchased the certificate, um, created the SL and signing request in WHM, uh, and then copied and pasted the signing request back into the uh, the the place that you purchased the SL certificate from, and then basically fill out whatever form they require, hit submit, and now this is basically the series of emails that will that you receive. Um, just want to repeat that one more time, uh, basically just to avoid the confusion. So now we are at this step right here. How do we continue? Uh, so basically this link just tells me that I can use the seal, which isn't that important. I mean, it's good to have it on the website just so clients can see um, or customers can see, but the next email is really the important one. Here's your actual certificate. Now, bear in mind, uh, I mean, if you're watching this, you're probably fairly technical and you know that it's not like a paper certificate. Um, this certificate is just a bunch of um, mumbo jumbo, essentially. So what you want to do is download the zip file. Um, and then after you download the zip file, I'm just gonna unzip it. I apologize for all of these windows and tabs open uh, in the middle of uh, these two website migrations and, and it's a uh, um, lot of stuff going on in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to WHM and uh, just for the purpose of not losing this, I'm going to copy this to Notepad, sign in new quest. Certificate. Now, do not get confused. This certificate, it's not your certificate. This is, um, um, well, it, it really doesn't, it, it's not going to be relevant for our purpose. But I'm just going to copy all this information down just, uh, um, so I don't lose it. So now I'm going to click on install a SL certificate on uh, a domain. And here's the, uh, the, the fun part. So the domain name, lamagiclab.com. So the certificate is the one that they email you. This thing. Someone right click, copy, paste. And it's going to tell you uh, if, you know, if that's correct or, or, or not uh, for the most part. And then you should see basically the domain names that it covers. Oh, one thing about the Rapid SSL is, is I believe it does not cover both the standalone domain name and the www dot version. Um, the Komodo one does. So yeah, a little bit slight price difference. I will go with the Komodo. Um, yeah, uh, for that reason, um, in addition to the fact that it is a lot more uh, well known. So the private key is this thing. What we basically copy from the other window, um, the last uh, one. So the private key is the, R the RSA private key. And then the certificate authority, um, if you don't put this in here, uh, your certificate, the SSL is going to get rejected by the browser. So even though this is optional here, um, make sure you do it. So if you're installing the, so basically this, they include a bunch of these because they have a bunch of different certificates. So the one for us, I believe is this one. and then I can click on install. But so if, if you're a little bit confused, I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward because that's what they email to, I mean, what they email you uh, in plain text inside the email. This is pretty straightforward, the private key, because that's just the last, um, as far as um, when you do this, uh, after you, you fill out the initial form in WHM, you get three of these, the signing request, certificate, and the key. So the private key is this key. So that's pretty straightforward as far as where you will find that. The certificate authority usually is included in the zip file, 
But um, if you are uncertain which one, I would send uh, Komodo or GeoTrust or Rapid SSL. Uh, Rapid SSL, uh, they only have one. Um, but for GeoTrust and Komodo, I would send them an email and ask them which one is the correct um, certificate authority. Uh, it's, it's also known as a, a CA certificate. Uh, that's CA certificate or just a certificate authority. Um, so after you have all that, all this information, then go ahead and click on install. And again, make sure that you have the dedicated IP already assigned to the account. If you don't have one, um, and your server does not support uh, uh, server name indication, then it's not going to work. So bam, it says that it's installed, and I'll click on OK. And now if I uh, go to type in HTTPS, now because it's a WordPress website, um, it may, some of the elements may be broken. Mm -hmm. So this is good. Basically, um, it, it shows this little, um, I guess, caution uh, icon because instead of this part being green because uh, some of these elements have been coded in a way where it's pulling from the HTTP version and not the, the HTTPS. But basically, we, we have it installed, and, and that's basically how, how we would do it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And I know it's a little bit confusing, um, uh, but hopefully this provides a little more assistance than you know before you've uh, watched uh, this video. And again, this is something that is relatively technical by nature. And if, if you're an entrepreneur, you're not that familiar with with these things it's a lot easier to just contact you web host and i have them do the installation for you um, um uh, otherwise you might just run into hours of frustration and and still not have a work uh, so just word of caution um for anyone that's uh, uh not familiar and, and trying to uh yeah to install the ssl certificate um, but overall, hopefully it was uh, educational, informational, and if you liked it, please like this video, uh, follow me, uh, I mean, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and go to my blog, uh, yanshenghuang.com. Um, yeah, follow me on the social media, like me on Facebook, uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, I post a lot of cool pictures on Instagram. Also check out my blog, I post a lot of interesting things, I mean this is kind of neat, like the this computer hardware chart that I found. Um, just, just interesting stuff that I think you'll like. Uh, so definitely check out my blog, feel free to subscribe to my mailing list. And also um, click on the, the video section, I have a ton of tutorial videos here. here. Um, on my site as as well as uh, if you just go to the YouTube channel um, You'll be able to find more tutorials uh, videos um, as well So other than that, thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you uh, for subscribing <music>